Welcome to Bourbon School. I'm Lauren. And I'm Brian. And everybody's familiar with this bottle right here. But today we're going to provide you with some great alternatives. Let's go. All right, before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell for notifications. All right, so we're talking Blanton's alternatives today. Yes. And I have to ask what, what letter this is before we start. It is letter A. Oh, wow, okay, wow. I feel, I mean, I'm just, I'm so, um, I'm so pleased to be in its presence right yeah. now. A? Yeah, I mean, no, just the bottle. Oh, okay. So hard to find, so expensive. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, Blanton's, okay. So Blanton's, their like whole shtick is they're the original single barrel. And it's a fine bourbon. Um, it's retail, I think, is something like fifty nine ninety nine. Like mm -hmm. this is a $60 bottle of bourbon. It's not anything that is crazy, but you see it for $100, $150, $200 in some places, just for the regular. Now, there are nicer versions right. of Blanton yeah. straight from the barrel and the Blanton's gold and all that stuff, but sometimes the regular old Blanton's is a couple hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and that is just ridiculous. Yes. So, I mean, and, and we we did a short on this. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, it's very good. It's, it's just not two hundred dollars. No, good. and so I'll tell you where I'm at with Blanton. So I paid, I think, seventy five, maybe after tax. It mm -hmm. was a little bit of a markup. Have you been holding on to this for a while? Yeah, but not because I want to savor it because it's not the best. <laughs> now it's a single barrel, so I will give it that. That mm -hmm. perhaps this is not the best barrel, but. For me, it's 94, 93 proof. Mm -hmm. It's it's too low You've of a proof. Out of it. <laughs> and I, it just, it it's fine. But I will tell you that if I found this even at retail mm -hmm. and any of the six that we've chosen, I would buy any of those six first. Okay. But oh, well, that's bold of you. Yeah, I would. For you don't sure. just want this decoration on your shelf? Well, no, but that's the other thing, though. <laughs> Everybody wants to have one of these mm -hmm. on the shelf. It's nice to share with people who come over. You know, it's got that, like, wow factor, like, mm -hmm. ooh, a Blanton's because yeah. freaking John Wick drinks it. So there but is he's all. pretty sexy. Well, no comment. Sidebar. That, okay, yeah, sorry. Well. Sorry. They are great movies, though, in fairness. Um, but, yeah, so for me, I think I would prefer any of these six. But. What we're really doing here is giving you single barrel alternatives that you can actually get. Mm -hmm. That's really what it's about. Because and that are mostly pretty cheap. Yeah, I mean, compared to in the ballpark, yeah. in the yeah. ballpark, in the ballpark. Yeah. Um, but Blanton's is hard to find. So you want a nice single barrel? We're going to give you some that you can actually go out and find and enjoy, and we'll give you a great experience, uh, and sometimes better than drinking a Blanton. So. Why don't you go ahead and go first? Okay. We're going to move Blanton's out of the way sure. here. All right. So this one um, won't surprise any regular watchers. I picked Four Roses Single Barrel. And not only, I mean, the bottle's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know Four Roses sometimes does not come in first place when we do our blinds. Yeah. But the single barrel bottles are really exceptional, I yes. think. Uh, and this is going to run you, let's see, what is that? About 45 bucks. Yeah, 45 to 50. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's not like super cheap, but you're going to taste all of the Four Roses Yep. that you like. I mean, to me, Four Roses, I love it because it's not too sweet mm -hmm. and it has a lot of dynamic flavors to yep. it. So that is my first replacement for Blanton's. I like the new dark label they have. Mm -hmm. It looks sharp. And I will tell you, we have said this before. In my opinion, Four Roses is probably one of the most consistent single barrels. Yes. That always is good. And it always, I mean, they get it to line up pretty good. There's not a ton of variation. It's just really good whiskey. So that's a good pick. All right. What you got? Bro? All right. Mine, uh, I'm going to actually put, put it up here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's here now. There after it goes. After filming. Uh, <laughs> Baker's. Uh, Baker's is a, an exceptional single barrel. It's seven year, I think it's seven year. Well, did I take yeah. Baker? I had Baker's on my original list. Yeah. I could Baker's, I it down. Seven years old. It's 107 proof. So, and that's the other thing we tried to do here is try to get stuff that's in the ballpark proof wise. Like, it's not fair to compare this to like 130 proof old Forester. No, no. So, we tried to get mm -hmm. stuff in the ballpark. So, Baker's 107 proof. 
I think it's a great single barrel. I, I really do like it. Now, if you were going to press me to pick a Jim Beam single barrel, I'd probably pick a Knob Creek first. But, again, that's 120. It's a little bit out of the ballpark yeah. here. So, uh, but I had Knob Creek great. 9 on my list originally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's 120 yeah. kind you of puts it in with another that. level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Baker's is 59 to like 60 to 70 bucks mm-hmm. probably. Um, it's becoming more readily available. There was a time where I didn't see it anywhere, and now I kind of see it in every store I go I to. I feel like you must have finished yours recently. I did, Because yeah. I remember seeing it on the shelf. Yeah, it's gone. It's on the list to replace mm-hmm. for sure. So, But Baker's would be one of my uh, Blanton's replacements. What do you got next? Okay, so next up will appear here. It's okay. Jack Daniels. Oh. Um, of course, if you can get the single barrel barrel proof, you're right. really in the money. Uh, but I think Jack Daniels continues to be an underrated bourbon. Yep. And um, I just love it. I think it's a great quality product and people undervalue it a little bit. Yes. And that Jack Daniels single barrel, the black label mm-hmm. one, is the first one. Like they always talk about the banana note. Yeah. That is the first one where it like hit me so hard. It was so, it was like dessert. It mm-hmm. was really really good so yeah that jack daniel single barrel is a good and one. it's only about 45 50 bucks yeah so and and you pretty, find it everywhere yeah everywhere everywhere yep. you you can <laughs> jack daniels is pretty reliable yeah right exactly all right my next one so this one i think might be moving a little bit towards the harder to find bottles but i also there's been two or three stores in area that have had mm-hmm. picks of this Uh, For me, the Old Forester single barrel 100 proof. So obviously the barrel proof. Look at you. Yeah, it's got a little tiny everything. Um, Fancy. The the barrel proof getting up into the 130s. Again, it's not fair to compare that to Blanton's. This is 100 proof, so it's a little more comparable. I haven't tried this yet. This is my first one. Mm -hmm. It is exceptional. Now, this is a pick from... Uh, Elma Liquors, which is a local store south of Buffalo, and I will tell you, um, they have the best picks around. Um, I got this. I'm in their bourbon club. This sold out presale. So this was like very fortuitous to get. (laughs) It is so good. So I would say, again, it's probably slightly easier to find than a Blanton's. if you find it, I would buy this over a Blanton's every day. And this one was $59. So it's kind of right in line with yeah. Blanton's price wise. Um, and it is so, so good. Really, really do enjoy it. So uh, Old Forster 100 single barrel. What do you got? All right. My final pick is Russell's. Russell's Reserve. There it is. There it is. It's beautiful. And I mean, it's easy to find. It's yep. a it's one that we always like, and usually yep. it's on the shelf. I'm kind of surprised it's not on your shelf right now. No, I had a couple of these, and they've You've gone. You've got a ten yeah. year behind you, but yeah, yeah but it's not the the single barrel. The single so single barrel, yep. Always good for the buy. I mean, it's going to cost you. A, it's up there a little bit, sixty five, seventy bucks. Yeah, it's getting up there now. Yeah, a little bit harder to find now, I think. But I th- also true. But um. It's darn good. <laughs> it is. It is. And this is the only one that's a little bit kind of out of line proof wise because it's 110. But I snuck in there. It's <laughs> it's probably one of the best single barrels that's just like a shelfer out there. It, okay. It's it's a really great run. So my last one, I kind of cheated a little bit. Oh, yeah. Which pick? So I went with not necessarily yellow. Not necessarily <laughs> Wilderness Trail, and not necessarily 1792. What I am going to say is a good store pick. Okay. And it's not necessarily like one that you tried and said was awesome, but just a store pick from a distillery that you know is putting out good stuff. For me, it wouldn't be like a Baby Saz pick because I, I've i had a couple of those mm-hmm. and they're hot garbage. But- a good, reputable distillery store pick every day of the week. It, and you've been having really good luck, mostly. Excellent Like 99% luck. of the yep. time. Yup. And these are all, you know, Colonial, which is up in Buffalo. Mm-hmm. I don't even know where the Wilderness Trail one came from. This is also in Elma, where I got the Old Forester as well. All three are exceptional. And I just love the idea of a pick because... 
It's You're been vetted. It's, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Especially if you find a store that you know, hey, yeah. they have good picks. They kind of line up with my palate. Mm-hmm. That's like gold. It is. And so, yes, it's been tasted. It's been handpicked. And also the idea that like you're never going to have this again. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Like this Special is a experience. Yes. With you. Yeah. And so I am a sucker for a store pick. So if I went to a store and they had Blanton's on the shelf at retail, but they also had a bunch of really good picks, I I probably 10 out of 10 times am going to grab a couple of those store picks over mm-hmm. a bottle of Blanton's. Um, I just think it's so fun to try them out and, and see. And especially if you can find like a pick like, these foolproof picks are all over the place. Mm-hmm. So if you find one at one store and then another at a second store to compare them and see yeah. how they're, they're different. That's a I fun guess, Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and for the most part, picks, unless you're getting into really high-end bourbon, most picks are probably $70 or under. So mm-hmm. it's not like it's breaking the bank. It's not much more than you're going to pay for that bottle of Blanton's. Or and that you should pick. It's a really cool experience. So mm-hmm. that that's my last one. Store picks are the all way to right. go. All right. I like that. Very all good. Right. Yeah. All right. If you liked our video today, don't forget to like, subscribe. Share. <laughs> and hit the bell for <laughs> notifications. So you never miss another episode of Bourbon School. <laughs> don't forget to check out our Patreon. <laughs> Uh, where you get early access, exclusive content, and giveaways. And our Facebook page where we just chit-chat about bourbon. Absolutely. Cheers, Cheers, Lauren. If you liked our video today, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to ring and... Ah! (laughs) Adding, I'm adding...